How could the police come and find you if you posted a photo of yourself on social media at a protest? I'm Eleanor and I'm a researcher at the University of Cambridge looking at how to make artificial intelligence safer using feminist and anti-racist ideas. In the last video I asked you to imagine that you're at a protest and you've just uploaded a selfie to Insta. A short while later the police come and arrest one of your friends that was in the photo even though they didn't do anything illegal. So the police were using protest detection tech to monitor and then break up the protests. This is what happened in 2015 when the Baltimore Police Department in the USA partnered with protest recognition technology Geophilia. Geophilia had direct access to protesters' posts and could search for them either by location or by hashtag, like hashtag BLM. And then these posts were broadcast directly to the police commander who watched them on giant TV screens. As you can see in the highlighted section below, the police then ran those images through their own facial recognition software to see if any of the people were in their database. If they were, and if they had enough cause to arrest them, for example, if they had a warrant for their arrest, then they went straight into the crowd and did just that. This was a tactic to break up the BLM protests. Police in the US had been using Geophilia for a while to track and monitor activists in communities of colour, referring to them as overt threats. Highlighted in green, Geophilia said that they went even further and they listened in to the conversations of high school children in Baltimore who planned to join the BLM protests after the murder of Freddie Gray. So these communities' social media data was being bundled up and then sold to the police. The important thing to remember is that if you're an activist of any kind, or you go to protests even from time to time, your data could be packaged up and sold to the authorities. Are the UK government doing something similar? Well, we know that they've entered into multi-million pound contracts with a tool modelled on Geophilia called Data Miner. In the next video, I'll tell you how protest recognition decides which kinds of protests, causes and people are flagged to the police as dangerous.